So you've got a album in your iTunes, which uh, iTunes couldn't find the album uh, cover for. So there's a, another way of finding this. Now in this example, I'm looking for the album cover for Follow Me by an artist called Do. So I'm going to go to an internet browser, in this case Firefox. And uh, what I'm looking to do is basically find the image and then apply that image to, uh, to the iTunes music. So uh, I'm just waiting for the browser to load. And then at the top you can see I've got a Google uh, search bar. If you don't have a Google search bar, um, you can of course go to Google or another browser. Uh, and I'm just typing in Do Follow Me, which is the artist and album. And I'm also going to tell Google that I'm actually looking for the album to help, again, filter out uh, results. So hopefully what I get when I click the Google icon or click enter on the keyboard, uh, the results I get are likely to be uh, more accurate. But uh, Google's assumed I'm looking for web results, which I'm not, so I'm actually looking for images. So I can click images at the top, and you can see it's brought up a list of images. Now, luckily, the second one is a good resolution, and uh, it's definitely what I'm looking for. So I click on the icon, uh, the thumbnail, and then I click on full-size image as well. So I'm looking at the largest version of that image, and then I right-click, save image as, now this is the part, uh, part of the process where you want to make sure you remember where you're saving uh, the image. You can really save it any way you like, but uh, uh, what I'm going to do is save it in music and save it in the iTunes folder, which is where I know the, uh, the actual artist and album that this relates to is saved as well. I'm going into iTunes Music, and then I'm going into uh, Do, which is the, the artist, into her album. Now, there's nothing else in there because uh, I haven't saved any other images. You might see other things in there. You can change the file name if you wish, but I'm not going to bother in this case. And I'm going to rem remind myself where I'm saving the uh, the album uh, cover because I'll need to remember this in a moment. So I've just saved it. I can get rid of the, uh, the browser and uh, go back to iTunes. Now, I want to make sure that I only affect this album because you can see there are other albums within the uh, library and I'm sure you'll have that too which have already got album covers mm -hmm. so uh, I really want to make sure I don't uh, change all those covers too so what I'm going to do is filter out anything that doesn't uh, relate to that album and I'm, I can do that simply by just typing in the artist and album name and uh, the more you put in the less uh, you'll see um, so I put in do follow me and all I'm seeing is the artist and album it probably would have been enough to put uh, do for the artist and then follow, um, but sometimes you'll get maybe one or two tracks if, uh, if uh, iTunes can see similarities. Now what I've done is I've just gone and selected everything, uh, which you can do with a Control A keyboard shortcut or go to Edit and then Select All, and you can see here that there's nothing else but uh, the album for that artist. So now I'm going to uh, File and I'm going to Get Info, which again you can do with a keyboard shortcut which is control I and uh, iTunes takes a second to uh, bring up the window that I'm looking for and this allows me to, to change uh, multiple uh, item information uh, for the for the album in this case I'm just changing the artwork but I could change the album name and the artist name uh, yeah many different things so I'm clicking uh, on the artwork double clicking that and uh, iTunes is trying to help me out by bringing up uh, last place that I searched but uh, I need to change this and I need to go and find that uh, image that I just saved from, uh, from Firefox. So uh, I know that it's in my, uh, my main folder and I know it's in within uh, the music folder. So it's basically just going to, uh, uh, to search for that uh, image that I saved. Now of course if uh, I could have saved it anywhere, I could have saved it on the desktop which may have made it a bit quicker to find, but uh, just making sure that everything's in the same location so uh, keep your desktop tidy and keep all your music together. So I'm going into iTunes Music and then I found the artist. I'm going into the uh, the album uh, album folder itself, and you'll see that within that, uh, it can at this stage you're seeing everything, not just image images. So these are the actual tracks themselves. But uh, you're looking for what is the the image and uh, I can see the icon there so I can see that this is exactly what I uh, sa saved before so if I click open I should see a little preview in the artwork uh, window and it should be checked 
and that means that's A OK to go. So now I can click OK. And if I've done all that right, then iTunes will do its thing and start applying uh, all those uh, tracks with that image. And there you are. So now I can unfilter my library. You have to just click on that and click on the X so that removes it. And there you are, there's your entire library. And nothing else has been effective, so job done.